We welcome you this, this evening for our nine lessons and carols and pray that you really have a time where it helps you connect with God and see the majesty of his glory when the King of Kings came down to earth. That's why we celebrate Christmas. I would ask you to join us in an opening prayer. Please bow your heads. Lord, we praise you that through Jesus Christ, your son, you have visited this world with your hope, your truth and your love. You have come not in power, but in the simplicity of a baby born in a stable in Bethlehem. Lord, as we worship you tonight, shine the light of your Holy Spirit into our lives, that we would see you as the one who went beyond being a baby to the one who loved, who died, who rose and is now risen and glorified. O oh God, shine the light of your Son into our hurt, our struggles, and transform them into hope and joy. Lord, we come to worship you as we relive the experience of that first Christmas. In Christ's name, Amen. The first lesson, Genesis chapter 3, verses 8 to 19. God tells sinful Adam that he has lost the life of paradise and that his seed will bruise the serpent's head. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? And the man said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked and I hid myself. Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman gave me fruit of the tree, and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this? What have you done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and above all beasts of the field. On your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between her offspring and her offspring of and her offspring and your offspring. They shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise their heel. To the woman, he said, in pain shall you bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule your household. To Adam, he said, because you have eaten of the tree for which I commanded you not, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In pain you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken. For you are dust, and to dust you shall return.
seated. God promises to the faithful Abraham that in his seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. And the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, declares the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son. I will surely bless you and I will surely multiply your offspring as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in your offspring shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. prophet foretells the coming of the Saviour. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice and righteousness, from this time forth and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
The peace that Christ will bring is foreshown. There shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat, and the calf and the lion and the fattened calf together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the wean child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. The angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, how will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her.
St Luke's tells of the birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. shepherds go to the manger. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that it will cause you great joy for all the people. 
Today, in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those to, on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger.
Please bow your heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all you have given us, the families, friends, and the blessings of being involved in a loving community. We especially thank you for the freedom that we enjoy in this country and pray for other countries where there is no freedom of speech or freedom of religion. We thank you for the work of the Barnabas Fund. We thank you that there is practical, physical, and spiritual support for those Christians who are in places of the world where being a Christian is a crime. We join the Barnabas Fund in praying for the Christians in some of the worst countries of persecution in the world, such as Egypt, Syria, Eritrea, Iraq, and North Korea. May we never take our freedom for granted in Australia. We pray that this money will support the ongoing work and witness of the Barnabas Fund. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, where is he who has been born King of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And assembling all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler, who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod summoned the wise men secretly, and ascertained from them what time the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, that I too may come and worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way. And behold, the star that they had seen, when it rose, went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening the treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense and myrrh. And being warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed to their own country by another way.
St. John, un John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things that were made were through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and in the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a, as, as a witness, to wear witness about the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness about the light. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God. Who were born not of blood, or nor the will of the flesh of men, nor the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. And we have all seen his glory, glory as only the Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you now and always. Amen. <laughs>